Hey everyone, this is Bonnie Branham with Whimsical Art Painting Parties and I'm going to be painting tonight with you and I hope that you will stick around or come back and check what it looks like at the end. I know sometimes I paint too long and, and you, you can't stay that long, but if you want to stop back by afterwards and see what we did, it will be, uh, it'll be on there. So I'm going to be painting a lucky, uh, the word lucky. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle back and forth. And it's a St. Patrick's Day door hanger for um, someone who's ordered one. And I'm going to be painting this one. This is another one of Wallace uh, Home Designs. And you can find her on Facebook at Wallace Home Designs. And she's my friend. And she's been... Uh, I've been getting some of her patterns and she's very good. So I'm going to start painting on this one. And <laughs> I don't know where my paintbrush went. I can't even get started without running out of course my paintbrush. But <laughs> I guess I took them to the kitchen and washed them and didn't bring them back. But anyway, I have many more. So I'm going to use my little cup. Hi, Jerry. Are you headed over to uh, to Erica's? She's doing a painting tonight also. I hope you're doing well today. It sounded like you, ha you were tired yesterday, you said. I've been trying to be a little more organized. And I've gotten a few... I've gotten more things done. So this... This is something that I usually would tape off, but I don't I don't want to have to deal with tape. And so I just drew straight lines because it's striped. And so I'm just putting those stripes in as I I drew the lines so that I didn't have to do tape. And I just used a a ruler just a school ruler and drew the lines as as wide as this ruler so that I did not have to worry about tape but tape will make it nice and clean and I'm gonna do my best to not have to I didn't want to tape it so I'm gonna do my best to keep straight lines with my paintbrush so let me angle that a little bit. Maybe I'll get the glare. Ooh, the world is moving. Uh, maybe that'll get some of the glare off of these glasses. So this is really, really cute. And, um, uh, I did some things today. I'm going to try to get a TikTok video made of my um, little things I painted today. But I painted some shamrocks, and they're so cute. They're little tiny things. <laughs> yeah, we're all painting tonight. I, I was going to paint earlier in the day, but... And I was, I wanted to get some things done that were cutouts and computer stuff. So I did not, I did not get to paint early, but I wanted to head over and watch Erica and I did sign up. So I'll watch it on the replay. It's really fun that we have become, we have a group that we are in that you just meet a lot of new friends that encourage you and um we've really been um sharing ideas and giving each other pat on the back and just encouraging each other hello friends hey boo hey bethany's here I am painting an Erica design that was cute. for Brenda. 
Oh, is this the other thing that she wanted? Uh, ooh, look what that did. Mm. Ooh, what was that all about? Smooth. Would you go back and get my water? I filled it up on the counter and I didn't. Mm. I just realized I didn't even have my water jar. So that just made a, a boo boo. Is this it right here that has the three in it? Yeah. That white paint's moving around pretty bad. White don't usually do that. Hey, Is Clifford going to help tonight? He was my design assistant this weekend. Chill, dog. Cat, love your dog. <laughs> All right. And the, was your assistant? He, she? Well, he helped me draw. I'm, I'm going to call him Clifford. I'm not... Uh, is it bad if we're not sure? We don't know what it is. It's a baby is what it acts like. Yeah. Y'all see my kitty cat? That's not mine. This is how it likes to lay. It, well, hold up. Let me turn you the other way because this is where you always end up. Put your head in there. No, she will. Wait. You don't like don't these you lights? know your own TV? You don't like these lights in here? It's too bright. All right, let's see. I like this color. It's yellow flame. I think that's the first time I've used I've it. I've seen that before. I saw, I'm always searching for light yellows. That, Come on. <laughs> I'm always searching for light yellows and light pinks that are not peachy or too uh, gold. Just, they're hard to, they're hard to find. So we are getting ready and excited to teach another workshop on, on Facebook. And this Facebook Live, you will get a pattern to follow and you can cut it out. And it will be, a, it's a $15 purchase and you get the instructions and you get a pattern and if you need a, a cut out the blank then um, you can let us know that will be an extra cost of ten dollars but um, we are going to be Painting the cutest little truck, and uh, and in those lessons you will learn the brush strokes for shading and highlighting, and that will be March the twenty fifth. So it's not very long away, and it'll be a, a door hanger you can really enjoy putting up on your on your spring door or in on your mantle wherever it looks best so how many of you actually um, decorate for um, St. Patrick's Day is that one that you you enjoy I think a lot of times it's just you know if you have the Irish descent then you Maybe you were more apt to, but I, I've really had fun decorating with with our mantle makeup. We just decorate for everything, and it's really fun. And you know, it just gives a little spark of newness to your decor and your your home and. You know, it's not boring. It's not stale. You're always changing it. So that's, uh, that's good. It gives excitement to your home, and it's always fresh. 
So anybody that wants to participate, you are welcome to contact us. It's on our Whimsical Art Painting uh, on Facebook. And it's just a little bit below here in your, uh, in your, oh, ooh, ooh, I didn't finish drawing that. I'm going to go ahead and do my green since I got it loaded on my brush. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I made the little uh, shamrocks today. And I'm going to do a little thing on Friday. I'm going to show you how I design, how I staged my tabletop using those pieces. And they're just standalone. They don't hang on the wall or they don't belong. Well, you could put them anywhere. You could put them on one of those um, stacking tiered trays that are so popular. Or you could put them on a tabletop, which is where I have mine right now. But you know, we had the kids over um, last night for dinner, and they were noticing the little things that I had decorated with, and I, I had some little, uh, they were like the pot of gold, and I had some green in the pot of gold, and I had gold coins, and one of the coins in each of the little pots that I just bought at well Hobby Lobby had some and Dollar Tree had some but Dollar Tree had run out and so I had to go back and get um, some more at the uh, at Hobby Lobby they were a little more expensive but they were a little more textured they had a little bit of extra with them I guess but they loved that they Cohen especially went around and he was so excited when he saw those. And it was just a little, a little touch of whimsy. But he was all about those little jars of candy. And he, he got one of the chocolate candies out of it. I bought chocolate candies that are the little gold coins that have chocolate inside. And he got one of those. And he was eating his chocolate. And you can buy those at Hobby Lobby also. And we decorated the dining table with, with things for St. Patrick's Day. So, you know, this year, with Easter being April 4th, it'll be time to change it right after, right after um, St. Patrick's Day is over. It'll be time to have my Easter mantle completely ready. And we have it ready. I actually staged it the other day and then took it back down and put my St. Patrick's Day back up. So it is fun to do this. I enjoy it. And I, I think, um, you know, it give, it, I love to create little vignettes of I call it vignettes of pretty, and uh, I enjoy doing that. So I had, uh, I have been working on that. So on Friday, I'm going to show you how I decorated my um, my one of my tabletops with my pieces that I painted. So you can use painting for everything you know if you learn to paint it's relaxing you can paint with your girlfriends and you can sell your pieces you can uh, improve your home with pieces there's lots of reasons to do this and I it would love to help you learn We have lots of plans in the 
Oh, and let me show you what we got in mail today. These are so cute. Bethany, Bethany bought these. Um, they're little magnets. Aren't they cute? Aren't they the cutest things? They're little magnets to hang on the refrigerator or on your... You, I think these are... Well, these might be stickers, but the magnets look the same, and they're about the same thickness. So she put one on my... She put one on my phone the other day, and then we have some that are magnets, and I have one hanging on my little metal cabinet over here. So how fun was that? And she even found keychains, and they came in mail today, so it was really fun to to get some, Cohen likes to say, merch. I got some merchandise, so he will be impressed. He will think that's so cool that we have merchandise. Um, and maybe in the days to come, we'll we'll have a a little giveaway on some of our little things that we got. But they're really cute. They're I don't. I, I, here's the keychain. I'll show you it because it's super cute, and it's just a little plastic. Keychain, isn't that cool? It's like it makes us official. We we have a we have our our merchandise. One time, I'm just talking. One time, I was doing school with Cohen, and he was to make some sort of presentation to his class about something that he had written. And he wanted to, he started talking about the merchandise, that he would have merchandise. And I was like, boy, we don't have any merchandise. You can't sell merchandise on here. This is, <laughs> this is your, your school. And he wanted to, he was going to have shirts and like, you are a little entrepreneur. All right, so that is all these little stripes are filled in. I'm going to let those dry. There's a few um, blank spots that are not real strong. Anybody else joined? Um, it's a quiet night, and a bunch of us had planned to, to join Erica tonight in her painting. Um, you had to sign up for it. And so, um, I told her I'd have to catch the replay, but I am painting her, her door hanger design, and you can find this little luck, um, with a horseshoe at Wallace House Designs. Erica considers herself a maker, and I consider myself a teacher that I would teach you to paint. And I can teach you how to shade and how to bring your painting to from flat color book to, to life, to make it look like it has movement. And uh, just a, that is kind of my, my expertise. But she's really good at what she does, really good. So, you know, we've had, we've had a hard, a hard year after COVID. So we have pivoted and we are using, we are doing mantle makeup and that is a subscription box, but we are also going to be teaching a workshop for painters to teach you how to shade and highlight and how to outline and just the brush strokes that will make it much more um, alive, more th 3D. Just, it's a really cute, maybe I'll grab it in it. But if you saw it earlier, it's the truck. And uh, so we are, we're, we've got lots going on virtually since COVID has kind of put a all right, so is it a way oh, oh, oh. Well, no, 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 Erica, I didn't mean to bring you on my page. 
or I didn't mean to turn you on right now. Um, so it's funny to look down through here because all my friends are on Facebook right now. Uh, but I was looking for my pattern so I could go back and I don't see it. Just a minute and I'll be back with it. Um, let me get over here. Um, ooh, it's so pretty. People post in our little group all sorts of lovely stuff. But I am trying to find Erica's so I can um, get that done. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm, I'm wasting your time. But I do need to find that Wallace. So let's type in Wallace. It went off for some reason, but it's Wallace House Designs, and I'm going to find some of these patterns, and I'm going to look back through there at the one I'm working on. So, y'all just bear with me a second, because I want to, I know I've got to go back up here to the green. And all my people, they went off to the living room watching whatever. Okay, I'm back to I'm back to Christmas in there and I don't want to be there. Alright, maybe I'm in the wrong one. No. Blech. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and paint this part green. And we will have to go back and clean up some of this little lines and edges. But I'm just coming in right on the chisel because I don't have any room to lay it flat there at the top. And with that, we can pretty much make a straight line. Um, so I know that, you know, some of the traditions of St. Patrick's Day is getting, you know, wearing green so nobody pinches you. I, I wonder where that came from. Where did that um, tradition come out of? I just wondered that. I was like, why did we, why was that? And I, I should have looked it up. But <coughs> if anybody sees that. All right, I'm back to my pattern now. And... I think I can ease through here without too much stress. Let's look for luck. Luck is the name of it. There we go. Okay, I was trying to remember what was over here. I knew what the others were. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make a nice straight, 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 straight line down through here. And I'm not going to panic over stuff that gets out of the line this way because it's going to have a black, um, black shading. I mean, black color on the letters. And I am using um, Shamrock is the name of the color. And it's Anita's from, I get it at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if that, if they sell it. At other places I usually go to Anita's I mean I usually go to Hobby Lobby and, <clears throat> and get deco art and Anita's so it is not um, I usually stick with Apple Barrel just because of the cost 
but it's not too bad price. It's just, it's a good brand. Both of them are a good brand. Um, I'm going to see if I can turn this around. Well, my, my people left me again. I, we're supposed to be a team. Come on, team. They're always tired at the end of the day. Hey, I'm going to stay up on the chisel so I can make a long... You guys see that? A long straight line. So, did anybody have, have any... Anything good happened today? Any inspiring words? Did somebody encourage you? One of my friends has encouraged us to encourage others. And I just, I have to say that my friend Erica, I just have to throw that encouragement out to her that she has... She is a good designer, and I've watched her grow, and she is, she is doing it right. So, it is a, it's nice to have anybody that can encourage us. Just trying to go straight down that line so I have a crisp line, not a, a janky one. Oh, no janky lines. I think everyone's quiet tonight. Are y'all resting or are y'all all out doing dance and karate? And is it a busy Tuesday? We all got through our first Monday back. No, I was like cleaning that one up so well. I think I'll swap over here and use this one. This is a softer brush. So I think it'll go down the edge better. I was using two brushes earlier so that I didn't get white paint on the other stuff, but or I didn't get green in the white, but these are much more easy to paint with. They're soft. The, the bristles are not stiff and scruffy. One of these days, this chair is, it scares me every time it shifts. All right, now, I'm going to go back around here. Oops, no, I'm not. I missed one. This thing is quite big. It is 22 inches, so it is quite big. So where are my Irish people? Oops, I forgot to turn my phone off. All right. Now, I'm going to... Take this right down the edge of this and hopefully keep it straight and join it at the end. Now, drawing lines is not terribly forgivable. That's why it's best to put tape on it to keep it 
perfectly straight and crisp. But I knew that my tape was not going to stick very well because I did not uh, <clears throat> I did not get my paint on my my bottom layer my base coat on early enough in my see here's our little things we drew today and painted really fun all right now this up here is going to be black and I got a little bit of black already out. And I think I'll need a little more. And I'm going to use my little number eight um, to go around the outer edge of this horseshoe. And. I'm going to outline that so I can fill it in quicker with a bigger brush, but I, I didn't want to. The round brush just moves around it easier. There's more, more curves to it. So if you do watch this, please share it. Please help us get our our numbers back up we uh, you know we took a break last year it's been almost a year but we took a break while I was doing some homeschooling and anytime you miss it's like starting over on Facebook so I'm hoping that we can get our our little business back out there and get some online because really and truly we're still staying people are still staying away and not comfortable with indoor parties so you know that's that's not good when your point when your business is paint parties and people can't party because half of the fun is is doing the painting with your friends so you can do these things with your friends with our virtual party stuff. Um, you sure could. So I'm just leaving open the area for the, the horseshoe. Did any of y'all ever have a horseshoe over your door? I can remember living in the country and seeing people with that over their door. And uh, when I was growing up, I would occasionally see somebody with a horseshoe over their door for luck. But, you know, we have to know that God is in control and in charge of our everything, so... Luck is not necessarily, it's fun to say, and it's something we say a lot, because sometimes things do happen that we didn't do anything for, but those are just blessings. It is fun to, to do a door hanger like this, and we did one the other night that I showed you that was super duper cute, and it says... Um, not lucky, simply blessed. <clears throat> I guess I'm in the right. I hope I didn't end up in the wrong place tonight. I think I'm, I'm in the right group. I have accidentally posted in different places. So I'm just going around the outer edge of this and filling in the outside before I get too far.
and it's going to take a second coat. And see what I'm doing is just, I'm just laying my paintbrush as flat as I can and making this long. I'm trying to fill my paintbrush, load it up at least halfway because little tips on the end of your, little tips of paint on the end of your paintbrush will not make smooth lines. You'll have the little choppy paint lines and you don't want that. You want it to be as smooth and as few lines as you can possibly do and that is done by long strokes if you can make it go for several inches all the better. You coming to watch? I'm coming to check it out. Well, good. I, I can't, I mean, I, I know that Jerry spoke, and I don't know if anybody else did. Maybe just. Where's my. Where's all my followers? Yeah, we're almost over 2,000. We're, we're getting close. I'm sort of slowly gaining we didn't even you know know about Facebook until I think it was 2009 when we joined and uh, it was funny because it was a you know the teenagers were the college kids were doing that. And then it became a place where we shared health information for some illnesses that we had gone through. And now, I guess we're addicted like everyone else. And I work, use it for my work. So I am, I'm always on Facebook. any of this edges painted. We did that space without getting it on my K. Or my K. But what do y'all think? Is that cute? Alright. I think I got that all covered. Let's see if I got that inside edge there. Oh uh, no. Yikes, I don't. I gotta ease up in there and then ease over there. It may not get perfect. I hate to get paint on the other side. I got it. <laughs> All right, so here's my little horseshoe. And I'll come back and work on that in just a bit. Um, and then I am going to, I'm going to use a circle to put my, my, excuse me, my eyes got something in it. Ugh. I'm gonna draw a little a little circle. I have sponges and I have stencils. I could probably do a stencil. I guess let me grab a stencil. That would probably be the best choice.
circle. And I think that would be a lot easier. Let's see. Uh, that. It's going to be black, but I don't want to have to paint over all that. So I'm going to try to paint my green on and then go around. there it even matches this guy already had those same colors on it yeah I got it wet so let me grab a paper towel That is what I'm going to do. And that way I can go back around all these. And I might be crazy. I don't know. It might be a, a not the brilliant idea, but I think I'll try it. So here is a sponge. It's a big chunky sponge. And when you're doing this, um, you have to be careful not to. Now hers is got less hers has got a bigger size but I didn't want to stand there looking through that so I didn't and get all the paint out I can so I'm going to get my sponge loaded up but I don't want it squishy so I'm putting that green on here and I'm going to blot this sponge with my paper towel because I don't want it to be globby a lot of paint and get up under my sponge so I'm just going to tap it like barely putting pressure on it and I can add three or four of these layers and get the same result or I can squish it and get a bunch at one time and it will slide up under these um, it'll get up under these paper uh, plastic and then you'll have a you won't have a good clean circle so you just tap 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 now I have to admit I have never going around the outside like that with black but I just didn't want to deal with doing it in white and then making it sometimes you have to put another color to cover up that black if I had done that if I had put the black on there and then did the circles in green I feel like I would have had a lot of problems with my uh, color showing through. It would have been hard to put green on top of that black and it looked clean. So I'm going to try this and it may be terrible. But this is my, my plan and I'm sticking with it. Alright, so let's see how that then you just pull it straight up. That did good. And then I'm just going to take my round brush and my black paint. Throw this in my trash. And I'm going to fill in these places here. And down this edge. And I'm going to go around where I found it. So that is pretty clean. I may come back and lay a sponge on it again. 
so that I have a nice, not any wobbly circles. But I just thought that would be easier than trying to cover black with green paint because I really didn't know if it would do that, if it was a good one to cover. Um, some, you know, some things like white will cover up black, but it doesn't always work with other colors. And I didn't want to have to paint white and then go back and wait for that to dry. So this is my easier way. There's not a lot of space to cover, but you know, if you're a if you're a paint 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 with little tap taps of lines, little short places, it might not be the best idea, because you want to still keep a a smooth flow of your brush and make it as long a brush stroke as you can, because otherwise you're going to get those choppy looking things but we're going to go back around here so how are your kids doing in school this year are they doing well are they handling it are they in school it's been quite a a struggle here to keep everybody on task. They are missing out on some fun stuff that this has brought about. I hear my kitty cat. Hello. She's a scaredy cat. She does not want to be far from everybody. She sits by us all day long. So I'm using a number eight a round brush to go around these and it's pretty easy to control to go around a circle. And I prefer, I really, I've told you over and over that this number eight is one of my favorites. It really does a lot. But we probably will go back and add in a little bit more green just to make sure that it appears more on top than on the bottom. Not layered. But I assure you it would have taken me longer to fill in white over black and then go back and add green so this was my little give it a try and if it doesn't turn out right we can always paint over the whole thing black and do it again and go ahead and do the the white the little white things um, at the end but this is working fine um,
That black will need another, another coat. I hear a western on my TV. Do y'all's husbands watch westerns? Okay, almost finished with this first layer. That was fun. I do have the outer edge to work on. Still have some edges. <clears throat> All righty, uh, there's probably some up there, but I can't see. Yeah, there it is. You can see it from your angle, and I can't see it from mine. Maybe you got to take care of it. Okay, now, um, uh, oh, look at there. I moved a little too quick. There we go. <laughs> There's just no end. Those edges can hide from you. All right, now we have it um, smoothed out already. And I will go back with another round of that. I'm going to come back from here to my. Oh, I'm going to take my boat now. Um, ooh, I got some green, some black in my green. So I'm gonna work right here and clean this up some more. Get that black off my brush. Okay, got some 
a little bit of black in my in my paper towel, so I'll get a fresh paper towel. And fix that up. Let's see if I can wipe that off. It might be hard to cover. It's coming. I got most of it off. Got a little bit of green here. And fill that back in. And these lab, these lines are not like ultra crisp. But the thing about using tape is running the risk of it peeling up the layer that is under it. And I hate that. And if you like it to be a little rustic and shabby, that works fine. But if you do not, then of course you could work forever getting these lines all work just perfect. But we can put some little wiggly lines across here to fill it up and not be... Uh, terribly particular. I'm just going to try to make my line straight, a flat line. Uh oh. Uh, don't get out of line. You always do that. Alright. I think I fixed it. Sometimes you can wet the brush and go back over what you, you know, maybe you wobbled out of the line just a little. And you were trying to make it as smooth as you could. Sometimes you can just wet the edge of it and brush it back into the green part. There's a lot of little turns on this one. And I'm going to move up here to the top to where these stripes are. Um, let me find my green paint. I ran out. This is such a pretty bright green. It is very versatile. You can use it for tractors and grass and trees. But it is a serious green. And it's called, appropriately, it's called shamrock. So when you watch this, whether live or recorded, would you please share this with your friends and uh, help us to get our business out there that people will know that we are still here and still in business, even though the paint party business and any kind of party business has been hit awfully hard. I know we talk about the restaurants and all of us enjoy our restaurants. Mm. 
but there are some small businesses that are that have taken a hit that was supporting their family and it is hard to hard to come back from when people are afraid to go out and do anything I'm going to look real quick and see what color this horseshoe is so it is done in that light yellow that we had over here so I'm just going to stick with that I may put some uh, little highlights on it but it's a pretty little yellow it's a soft yellow and I'm gonna just color book paint it on for now and I'll probably go back with some gold some king's gold and highlight it I'm gonna get me a clean brush because these brushes are all they've had black in them and that's not gonna be good to get it in that yellow it won't go away so I'm gonna use my liner brush and just go right down that edge Have you been uh, thinking about your about Easter? You know, Easter is only uh, like four four weeks away, and if you're wanting to get door hangers ready uh, for that, to get your door painted and your front porch ready. Um, we are booking parties. You can come to my home studio or you can have it at your house if you have 10 or more painters. And um, so yeah, we are still doing paint parties in our, in our home. And we social distance as much as we can. Just putting a couple of people at a table. And most of our parties are friends, inviting friends, so they sort of know their, their friends and the situations that they're in as far as their help. And uh, it's, not, it's not just an open party. We've not had any of those. So if you're interested in parties, let us help you set one up, find an available date, because we do want to get some paint parties booked for our spring, our spring parties. We, um, we would love to do that. And you can email me at Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E, at Whimsical Art paintingparties.com if you want information about that and what kind of uh, what do you have to do to set that up because it's not hard it's uh, you just invite people to come and let me know what they want to paint and we show up with all, everything except food and if you come over to my house, you might get uh, brownies. We do make brownies at most every party. And you can bring your own food, but we don't do alcohol. We don't uh, serve alcohol in our home studio because I just can't handle the responsibility of that. And so that's not part of our parties. And we ask that if you, um, if you wanted to drink, then that's done at your house and we will come to you. Because we just can't deal with the liability 
of anything happening. But we are, you know, we have good fun parties. And we've met people from all around and we love it. And people are absolutely starved to get back together with their friends. I need to wash this off. It's getting a little gloppy. All right, that one is um, that one's done. I think I can probably straighten that up a little bit, but I don't want to move the paint that's almost dry, so leave that alone. And we're getting close to all the base coat then. I see some outside edge that I haven't painted. This thing has an enormous amount of edges and crooks and turns and lots and lots of edges. So I'm going to get my number eight back and Did I tell y'all we were having a painter's workshop? And I will be teaching brush strokes and you will get the coolest, neatest truck. Um, it's a spring truck loaded with um, flowers. And it is so cute. And I posted it in another group. And I had so many people comment on it and like it. So I thought I would just do it. I'd open it up and teach you how to paint it. So if you're interested, that's going to be at the end of the month on February 25th. It's on a Wednesday, I think. No, Thursday. I'm sorry. It's on a Thursday. You know, that doesn't need a lot of coverage. So... Maybe it won't take so long. I see some glitter. I don't know where that came from, but it looks good. All right. Has anyone seen any pollen yet? It should be just around the corner. I know it's usually in the first couple of weeks of March. I am ready to decorate for springtime and love it. I'm ready to plant some flowers in my yard. Everything in my yard is frozen. And I tell you, this um, last, uh, last Friday, it was, um, there was frozen, there was ice on the ground. And by the next Friday, it was about 80 degrees, 81 degrees, I think was the high. So that's why poor old Louisiana was just, I think we've had three seasons at least this week. Because it turned warm and it was nearly, you know, it was right at 80. And then at the end of the week, it is... We didn't get past 40 today. 
So it is a crazy weather system that we've had. I love winter. I love decorating for winter. I love a fireplace, but it doesn't take long to be enough. And then it's, oh, that's, we, we're done. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Got my snow picture for the year. So this one is already sold and I will be delivering it to her but I do offer painting of some of my uh, well just about any pattern uh, we do we also do the painting for you uh, our preference is to teach you but some people just are not interested so we do occasions where we paint for other people. It's just not as often as paint parties. And I always have an abundance of already painted stock in here because I paint a couple of times a week a new pattern. So if you're ever looking for one, I probably have something that would go with your occasion. And they have taken over the walls. Don't want to get too tight on those circles because you'll not have any green left. And you just have to go right around the outer edge of it. And then I'm going to take my green sponge and go back over them again. In case they've kind of lost a little bit of their perfect shape. But that's the end of that one. And I think once it dries, it'll be smooth. And uh, I think we'll enjoy or she will enjoy that one. All right, I'm going to see what I did with my green sponge. And put, oh, yeah, that wasn't my, I better scoot back and grab this. Uh, I think I'll let that dry some before I lay that on top of it because I have a lot of black paint that I wet. I'm going to go back up here and work on this. Let's see what is the rest of the pattern. Now, there's some little um, dots, little black dots, and I guess I can just draw them in. Um, let me see. Ooh, excuse me. I'm just going to make a little black circle. You can kind of twirl that round brush to make a circle. I got a little on the wild side there. See if I can 
scoop that back up. All right, let me try that again. I think it would be better to use a sponge. Let me see if I can grab one that's tiny. Any bitty one that would make a nice box too big. Let's see if I have a green one. Oh yeah. Here's a lit. Well, I don't know. That might be the right size. Um, I think I've already gotten bigger than that one, so I'll just try to use this one. And I'm going to just set it down right over it. That's a little bigger than I wanted. You probably could use a smaller sponge. Those sponges come in little packs. All right. Now I'm going to... Um, I think what she's done is she has outlined this with the Posca pens. I don't know if I want to use the Posca pen. It does make a easier line. Um, but I need to let my paint dry before I can do that. I don't know if I have time for that. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Um, like y'all yummy. I'm going to clean up a little spot here of, out of the line. So, I think I will just use my, my paintbrush and see if I can smooth that, smooth these, and make these little lines, and I'm not going to connect them all, I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between them, and hold my breath, and Coming along. Coming along. Come on. Now the pens are perfect. They, you know, they are great, but I feel safer when I'm using a marker. I mean, with a paintbrush because I don't have to worry about it making a I don't want it to mess up in my, I'm going to go back over these when they're dry. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make sure that's, I'm going to outline that one right across there. Got to make those come together. And. Thinking about doing this so that you don't have to worry about your mm -hmm. perfectly straight lines. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't like that. I think it masks the. the I do still want to go right around the edges with this. I'm just doing that on the on those straight lines that go all the way up and down. Mm -hmm. And it sort of helps calm down those 
those little white lines that are not all together perfect. It gets it a little whimsy. You can go back now, so we're just going to like it. It is what it is, as you say. I mean, every day. Right. I like it. Do you? You, mm -hmm. would, you would do it again? I like that. Mm -hmm. It looks. It looks you need to on your yellow. You need to get your edges here and here and on the bottom down there. Uh, well, these are yet. No. And you got no. uh, green paint on your face. Oh well, <laughs> but that's part of the fun. <laughs> um, bring me a wet wipe, and I'll get it off. I'm not surprised if I paint my face. Where? Right here. One more. I think you got it. Let's see. Clean me up, baby. There you go. I need your help. All right. I'm gonna. Almost finished with these little. Swirlies. Get a little bit more paint. Always have enough on your brush to do that. All right. Now I'm going to probably do a little bit of white on those too. And. So I'm going to just do a little bit of white, not as much as, the, as I did the black, but I want it to have a little bit of that same color. It looks like I missed a line. Um, so I'm just doing this in the green so it can be seen. And not not all over it not not like it, without it stopping because I just want it to have those little wisp of highlights all right and now I'm gonna just put one there and there so I'm gonna add a little bit of that I go back and fix this one because I didn't put the black on it. And I like to put a little bit of water on my brush so that there's a little bit of ink consistency to make that wibble wobble across there so easy. And that. That's that. Here and pick up that white because I didn't get any in here. So I'll just put a little twirl of that. All right, I'm gonna do that. A little bit of that. There's no end to adding these things, they just keep going on and on and on and on and on and on. I'm going to come back over here and paint in these little shoe nails, I guess they're nails. I'm going to add a little bit of more color because they're kind of not, not, not good.
and I think I will go back and add in some little white highlights on there. Let's see what that hurts head. Yeah. Maybe not on that one. We're going to go outside here with some white and I think I'm going to continue this because I prefer to make a little wobbly line like that. I enjoy doing that and it is much easier than a straight line. And then near the end, try to make that one come back in where they land, where you, they look like they were nice and coordinated. So I like that because I don't have to make it perfect. Little straight lines without a marker can be quite hard to do. Now, I'm going to do that, and that, and that, on the nails. And there is a little bit of outline on the inside of these yellow. So, I'm not trying to do the whole thing and I can add some little dots to fill in any of these and these little dots are just kind of you know, they, they do their thing. You can do them with the tip of your paintbrush. You just dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. That's all I'm going to do to that. I just added a few little, little dots. And then I'm going to come back around here and see how this is doing. And if it's dry enough to put the dots on it. I put the circles back on. And I'm just going to line them back up. Like that. And I'm going to go back over them because I know that they're not 100% as round as they were. But again, I'm going to be very careful about squishing paint up under the stencil. I'm just patting it. And I don't have a ton of paint on it. I think I've got it. 
And we'll put some little shiny swishes in those too. Perfect. Oh, one there. Got a kink. Um, and I'm going to wash this off. And I'm going to... Oh, I like it. It's really turned out good. Um, I love this little pattern. So on these circles, we can add some white. And we're just going to make little swish marks around the... Just wherever you want. They don't have to all be in the same direction. You can put some on top, uh, some on the bottom, some um, all around. So there's one there. And oh, I missed that one. Eh, I'm just going to try to add that one without putting it back. All right. That's meh. That's okay. It was kind of on the edge. Put a little black right there to smooth it around. Okay. Now, I think, except for a wiggly white line that might go around the uh, sea, I think I'm about finished. I think I'm going to add a wiggly. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, maybe no. I'll just... Uh, oh, I don't want that there. Bee, bee, bee. Get out of there. You're in the wrong place. I already have one of those in there. Okay. On the outer edge, I'm going to put a little swirl here. Swirl here. So it's in the black and it's just giving it some more movement. Not much, just a tiny bit. All right, it's good. I'm glad. I like it. So I'm going to wash my paintbrush off and hey, Julie. What did you say? Uh, hey, honey, I love you. Hugs and kisses. I love you, Julie. Hugs and kisses to you. So here is our, um, our, um, St. Patrick's Day door hanger for someone who had ordered this. And I hope that y'all like it. Um, I'm still looking at that. I think there's just some things on here that's got to be shaded a little bit by the highlights. I'm just going to do that. Just a tiny touch right along the edge so that that C has some definite outline. And I don't know. I may, I really like this doing the swirly thing. I think I'm just gonna go back and just fix that. I'm gonna cover up these that I did. And I'm going to go on around it with the little swirly line, like I did on the circle. And then that will match. And they'll have a, you know, this one and that one would be more similar. And if we go over the top of the green circles, I'll just be okay with that. I'm just blocking those out. Ba boom. And that's what I'm going to do. I think the circly, see when you don't like it, you go whoop, 
you just paint over the top of it. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to swirl, swirly swirl around until I fill up that, just like I did that circle. Here's the paint. And we'll start back here. That just closes everything in and it looks fine. I like that. I like that outline. Let me get some. Wash my paintbrush. Add some more. There's a few spots that I might need to go back and add in a little bit more of the red, I mean the white, and kind of clean it up, but other than that, I think I like it. All right, now, let's see how that looks. All right, I made this C like that, and I think it looks fine. It looks like a lucky charm. <clears throat> and you need to order one of these patterns for your paint parties or your business. I can teach this at my paint party. Um... But if you want to buy a pattern of your own, then you can look up uh, uh, Wallace House, Wallace Home Designs. And if you don't see that, then I can direct you in the right direction. Just leave us a, a message. But if you want to paint it at a paint party, we can do that. I just don't sell the pattern because it's hers. All right. I'll come back to that yellow that he was pointing out. Um, I was going to probably make this a little bit more squared off. So that it keeps that Kel Celtic letter shape. All right. And that's what I was aiming for over there. All right. So I'm going to let y'all go. Oh, hey, Melissa. I, you just got here. Um, we are Whimsical Art Painting Parties, and I'm glad you stopped by. We are working on a St. Patrick's Day door hanger. I'll hold it up so you can see. And it is, uh, it has a horseshoe and the letter, it spells luck. And this is a Wallace house design. And... I would, we usually paint on Tuesday and sometimes on Thursday. And um, check out our, our Facebook page. And um, we also have a, 
a website, whimsicalartpaintingparties.com. Where are you from, Melissa? Where are you from? Um, we are in Louisiana. Good night, Julie. I love you. Have a good night. I'm just trying to clean this one up so I don't lose the pointy part of that letter. All right. So, um, let's see, Melissa. Let me get a little closer so I can see it. Um, your drawer. No. South Carolina, okay. Well, awesome. That's great. Um, yeah, I heard somebody else say it was rainy up that way. Uh, I know, I'm going to go back and watch Erica once I'm, I'm finished. I should have just waited and followed her. But I try to come on every Tuesday at 7 and just stay with that schedule. So I didn't, I didn't wait and... I'm going to go back and paint her bunny also. And um, she and I have, have been coordinating a lot of things. And, and she's given me a lot of advice. She's really good and really sweet. And so I am, if you want to go back and watch the, or just jump through and watch it, you know. I know it takes too long. But this one's a really cute pattern from, from Erica. And... Um, Someone had ordered it, so I'm painting it for them, and it'll be ready for delivery, hopefully in the morning when I get the little final touches, get it sealed, and get it ready to deliver to her. Uh, I think she'll enjoy it, and if you want to, so, uh, you know, we plan to be here Tuesday, uh, Thursday night, and we are going to be painting a lemon, a lemon drop for Mother's Day. I have knocked my water over three times. Goodness gracious. I'll show you all the one I'm planning to do on when, uh, Thursday. And this is my Thursday painting and it says Grandmama and Papa's Lemon Drops. And it's got all of our grandkids' names around the lemon, uh, around the this part of the lemon and so we are painting that and it is small so I can set it on a shelf and not in a and not on a door and I think I will I have uh, some lemons planned I think for our mantle makeup and Melissa if you don't know what my mantle makeup is we do a subscription box once a month and we teach three projects during that time. And uh, we, do, um, we, we do three pieces to put on your mantle or you can put them on your, um, on your tabletop and they stand. They, and, and so this month we've done things that were uh, St. Patrick's Day. And we have a camper a sign that says "Known place like home and uh, hey Jerry I just finished um, and we also have two little gnomes holding hands and um, are hold, you know, standing beside each other here you go Jerry I'll back up a little bit so I got it all finished I got a little bit different things on there than, than what Erica had I put Instead of straight lines, I put curvy lines on some of my my stuff because I don't feel like I have to be as perfect when I'm doing a curvy line. But it turned out cute. That's a good pattern, and it's Erica's pattern. Um, I can't wait to go back and see the thing that Erica did because I want to paint that bunny also. But anyway, I was telling Melissa that mantle makeup is something we do monthly so it's on our 
it's on our Facebook page, so if you want to check it out, the next one we're doing is an Easter mantle, and it's um, it'll have a, a plaque that says He is risen, and it will have a, a bunny and some eggs, and you can put those all together, or you can put them on two different, you can separate them and put them on two different places, but we are... Uh, we are doing lots of different things. We've got our, I mean, our plan is to teach uh, brush strokes and help painters improve their um, their abilities. We've been painting, or I've been painting for many years, and we started this business three years ago. And having door hanger paint parties in our in our town, but right now we're trying to move to the virtual and do our our subscription box to teach people how to do brush strokes that will help with your uh, shading and highlighting and and all of the things that make your paintings really pop and um, not be flat color book you know so that's our that's where we are go back through our page and and check us out and look back through the uh, we started back in September with mantle makeup, so there should be several examples on Facebook from those. And I hope y'all have a good night. And uh, we are going to be back on Thursday to paint our little uh, grandmother sign. It could be used for uh, a small on a small on your kitchen counter, or it could be on a a table or it could be on your mantle or it could hang on your wall and we make them bigger you could have it as a door hanger but I wanted one that I could put on a on, on a table near my pictures of the grandkids so that's my my plan y'all have a good night and I will see you Thursday bye bye move my things out of the way so I can get to the camera good night